Hi, Shep Hyken here, customer service and experience expert. And today I'm going to discuss the most important measurement in business. This is the first of several lessons I'll be sharing from my newest book, I'll Be Back, How to Get Customers to Come Back Again and Again. Now, a few years ago, I wrote about the idea of measuring customer satisfaction versus customer behavior. Today, we're revisiting that topic with a fresh point of view. This lesson is about the exciting topic of measurement and data. Okay, maybe not the most exciting topic, but how about a very important one? And you know it is. Business management guru Peter Drucker said, you can't manage what you don't measure. So what should we be measuring? What's the best metric? Why do our customers come back? Well, there's several ways organizations measure customer satisfaction. By the way, I don't like the word satisfaction. The word satisfactory implies everything's okay, average, or just fine. If you ask someone to rate you either poor, satisfactory, or excellent, you can see that satisfactory is in the middle. Again, just average. But back to the point, call it customer satisfaction, customer happiness, or anything you want. The important idea is to remember that we're looking at ratings. As an example, two very popular measurements are NPS, the Net Promoter Score, and CSAT, Customer Satisfaction. Both give you an idea of how happy the customer is, but you need to know more. When you're asking your marketing and customer service experts what they monitor, you'll likely hear about similar satisfaction or happiness measurements. You'll also hear them talk about sales numbers, you know, profit, revenue, and other indications that the company is doing well or not so well. But another measurement I suggest companies pay close attention to, in addition to those just mentioned, is this one. Does the customer come back? Now that's not a rating, that's behavior. And there's a big difference. Your customers can rate you five out of five stars and give you glowing reviews. But what if they don't come back? The ratings and reviews can be nice, but the opportunity to do more business vanishes if they don't return. It's important to know how customers feel about the experience they just had. We should always be looking at those experiences and finding ways to make them better. Feedback and ratings will help drive that effort. But in the end, knowing what percentage of customers come back, how often they come back, and how much they buy when they do come back is the metric to pay close attention to. Well, I hope you enjoyed this short lesson. Thank you very much for tuning in. This is Shep Hyken reminding you to always be amazing.